Okay, quick one. This is just an overview video because I just wanted to show you guys this. This is new to me. I just got my new flight control arrived for my Nano Talon build. This is something I just ran across recently. This is the FC F722 wing flight control from Maytac. This is strictly designed for fixed wing aircraft. Incredible little board vertical usb on it and all the places for all these headers to go that to plug in all of our peripherals and i'm just going to take a quick spin through those because this thing absolutely blew me away when we started building this i started building it for a dys f4 pro v2 to go in here flight control which are they're about like 20 dollars to buy now but you have to do an awful lot of soldering hack all these connections for the servos solder them right to the board no longer the case with this this is designed to have headers and plug everything in but what it takes is incredible the specs on this it just like i said blew me away f7 board so a, a very competent board we have barrow imu black box information but five uarts so five universal asynchronous receive and transmits numbers one two three four and six important when you need to look in inav for that built-in inversion on them awesome so we can invert those software serial two motor controls six servo outputs one i square c data line four analog to digital converters for different analog inputs switchable dual camera inputs so we can have two cameras into one vtx switchable that is super awesome it's up to an 8s lipo so it'll take right up to big big batteries an adjustable back so we can do uh we can do five amp uh, for the servos on a 5 volt 6 volt or 7.2 volt option which is super cool uh, low low dropout 3.3 volt 200 milliamp ldo on there this is just the instruction manual that you download from the maytech site it's got all the information on where all the ports are our sd card for black box logging but this page kind of lays everything out for the layperson to assemble their plane our two esc controls at the top our battery input from our lipo if we want an airspeed sensor analog it would hook here our beeper here digital airspeed would go to serial data and serial clock that's i squared c our different receiver layouts would go here depending on which one you have it gives you your like if it's crossfire or s bus it gives you your terminal numbers and how to lay it out all of our servos are here our two cameras are down at the bottom our video transmitter goes here our gps goes to tx3 rx3 an oled which i'm going to use is going to go on serial data serial clock it's absolutely wonderful they lay everything out great bluetooth connection if you wanted to hook a hco5 bluetooth module to it no problem and then all of our layouts in inav here absolutely cool uh current sensor calibration tells you how to calibrate your current sensor put in 250 there and they say it's going to be bang on we'll test that our camera switcher layout in inav here which i'm going to use is we're going to put one camera in the front of this plane and then another camera out the bottom or uh, at least the leads that i can put it wherever i want i can face it back one day out the bottom out this hatch another day if we're doing search and rescue or aerial mapping very very cool so we're going to give this a go again this is just a quick overview of what just completely blew me away I think this is the most capable flight control I have ever seen for fixed wing. I have a Cyclops Tornado in my big EPP FPV. If you follow my channel for a long time, that flight control was about this big and has nowhere near the functionality of this. And this thing is 50 to $70 and probably even cheaper in the near future. So I 3D printed a TPU mount. We'll solder the headers on, plunk that thing down in there we should be good to go this thing should fly great and it's modular i don't have to hack my connections off like i do on a dys or uh any other like an f4 flight control i'm just gonna plug these in plug and play so we can easily swap things around change out a servo change our video uh, transmitter or video itself the cameras 
this should be just great. I'm super excited. So that's a quick overview. I wanted to share that because I think I think other people are going to love this flight control. And I've had good luck with the Matex system stuff. So links down in the description below. We'll get it in the air soon. Cheers, guys.